you better watch out, you better not cry, you better not bow, I'm telling you why, Santa Claus is coming to town, Santa Claus is coming to town, Santa Claus is coming to town. Hello, hello. Merry Christmas to everyone back there in St. Francis, out there in Minnesota. Happy holidays for you Jewish people. Really, everyone across the world, happy holidays to you and yours. How's everyone doing tonight? Pretty good. How I'm you doing? doing? I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> I am Calvin, this is Josh and Tony to my right and immediate right. We're going to start things right off here. We're going to start off with quick fantasy news, everyone knows. Both, both of our SFFL leagues here, we're down to a championship. So if you want to learn more about that, there are commissioner notes online. Check on that. Any other league news, Josh? Well, I think that we all can agree that we're sick of Joey s***. We understand that he has a good fantasy team both in both leagues and another league that I'm not in. It's a personal call-out, ladies and gentlemen. No! But seriously, you honestly need to keep... Been moaning about, oh, I haven't made any friends in fantasy, but my teams are so good. You guys are all going down. It's whatever, man. It's just, I'm not trying to take a personal shot, but nice it's just Joey impersonation. It's ju it's just annoying. That's, that's all I'm trying to say. It's just annoying. Josh Feldman on the soapbox, ladies and gentlemen. This is one of those fights where I kind of just want to sit back and watch it unfold. I'm not gonna say shit to nobody. The holiday season, no less. We're going to take a quick break. Speaking of the holiday season, hope you're doing all your shopping. We'll be back. Welcome back. Welcome back. We'll start things right off. College football stayed kind of idle this week. That'll be a few weeks from now. Vikings football. They went into Arizona. Actually, I'm going to make a plug on the uh, college football thing. We have a a pool going on where you pick well, college I'm gonna, teams. Josh, I'm going to explain that on the no! radio show. All right, that's fine. All yeah. right, moving on. Then. It's a complicated deal. It'll be fun. Moving on to the pros. The Vikings went into Arizona and handled division winner. Very impressive win for the squad. It was. Adrian, 28 carries, a buck 65. TJ, four. One, two, three, four. Touchdowns. Uh, Rear high and NFC offensive player. Wow. What do you think about TJ? Right now, I'm just surprised Josh can count up to four. But, uh, anyways, I just want to say something about the Cardinals, how they might make it in the playoffs, and the Patriots being 11 and 5, possibly would not be able to make it in the playoffs. Very true. Right? No! All right, so the Vikings' playoff picture works out something like this. Uh, you win this Sunday at home against Atlanta, you clinch. You clinch a spot. So it's as easy as that. If you lose, you got to hope that the Bears lose, and then you clinch. Or if you lose, the Bears win, you got to get the next one. So we could either, depending on what the Cardinals and the Giants do, we could be... The two seed, the three seed, or the four seed. What what's most likely? Or out of it. Or out. No. Could lose out the Bears could win. That's right. So, two, three, four, or out. What do you guys think? I think. I think. I think. Right you think Carolina will beat New York? I do. That would be fun. That would first round by. New York is on fire. I actually agree with Tony. Fiddler. Injuries. The first time in the history of mankind. Facts really shot him down. No. I think no it's. <laughs> I, I I think it's uh, for the first time we've got. Consensus agreement here because the Giants not only did, like Tony said Plaxico, also Brandon Jacobs is out and the stats don't sh really show how important he is to the Giants. That's true. I mean, as good as Derek Gordon and Mod Bracha might be, they are no earth, six, wind, and fire. They yeah. complement each other so well. I could I could spend the whole show talking about them. I got I got something for you. There's no fire or wind if there's no earth. So that is great. That is great. Make all kinds of sense, and we're gonna take a quick break. We'll be right back. Could you hear 
And we are back. Christmas music only as we prep for the holiday excitement. Back to Vikings news now. First, uh, the sad news. Start with the bad. Pat Williams looks like he's for sure going to miss the rest of the regular season, possibly into the playoffs with a broken area on his shoulder. How does this affect the team, guys? Well, you know, Brian Robeson will fill in nice. Evans will fill in nice. I think we'll be okay. I mean, we play, we do play Turner and Jacobs coming up, which is huge. But I think we can handle it. We got Leslie Frazier on our side, so that's always a bonus. I think um, they, he should uh, serve his suspension now and see if he can get that four, to, four weeks off while he's injured. I don't know. Just pay the little ju- the judge uh, or something. But. <laughs> that would be true. Also, Vikings news, Pro Bowl players were announced. Uh, you can check the full listing at NFL.com. Antoine Winfield made his first Pro Bowl. Long time coming is what I'm thinking. He has played pretty well. Shut down definitely. Five foot, all five foot nine of them. He is, without a doubt, like there's no arguments about it, the best tackling corner in the NFL. It's widely accepted by coaches. You know what they say, great things come in small packages. At least that's what my girlfriend does. That's what she said. <laughs> well, and we have an admission on the radio. If, if he wants me to cut that out, I'll, I'll gladly cut it out. But Leave it in there. This is a live show, you guys. There's no cutting. That's true. All right, we're going to take one more break, come back with a little Christmas yes. trivia. And we are back. Some Christmas trivia. Christmas. <laughs> Christmas. I got to get the eggnog, the last of the eggnog out of my mouth. With the C Note and D Row radio cast, first question we'll start with Tony. Favorite Christmas song of all time? You know what, Cal? I like uh, Frosty the Snowman. That is a classic, and that, it also that's not doubles. That's what you told me 30 seconds ago. It also doubles as a movie. So that's a great choice. Yep, but it, although it is radio. not my favorite Christmas movie. Ooh, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Slow down. Josh, how about you? Favorite Christmas song? Well, you're going to hear it in a little bit. Blue Christmas by Elvis. The low Elvis vocals just make for a great Christmas tune. I believe he was known something around the likes of could, the king. He could shake he it is. with the best of them. He was the king. Uh, my favorite Christmas song personally is actually Dreidel, Dreidel, Dreidel. Just kidding, that's a Hanukkah song. <laughs> Checking uh, all you religious zealots out there. No, I really like Christmas shoes. I know I'm a wimp. I know I'm a girl. It's a great song. Check Aww. it out. Oh. You just heard it a little bit ago, actually, right before he banged out to NSYNC. Last question, last question for everyone. Tony first, favorite Christmas movie. I like Elf. Will Ferrell does a great job in portraying Very true. the character. Very true. Yeah. I'm going to go with The Grinch, either the cartoon version or the Jim Carrey version. Both excellent. Both classics. Both instant classics. Exactly. I mean, as much as I like Will Ferrell, Grinch is, you know, brings me back to my childhood days. Very good lesson, too. Mm-hmm. I'm going to also stick with the good lesson theme, Miracle on 34th Street. Ooh. There's plenty of remakes, so make your pick. Um, just got a great lesson behind it, and I think that... Everyone deserves to believe in something a little bit bigger than them. That's true. It's a good that's, movie. Very good movie. Deep Correct. We're getting a little oh, off classic. topic here. We're getting a little excited. Christmas is in the air. That's for sure. We'll take one more break. We'll come back with some final goodbyes. Before we say our goodbyes for the holiday season. And we're back. We're going to go around the room real quick. What's one thing you guys are going to do for the less fortunate around this holiday season? Josh? I am going to go to the Holodazzle Parade and throw dollars in the street. <laughs> Making it rain. Tony, how about you? You know what? I'm going to support some single mo- mothers and maybe make it rain on some strippers. <laughs> I love your girlfriend. I was a little bit show. <laughs> Great holiday choice. I personally am going to just pick up the coffee uh, and the person behind me in the drive up. That's just kind of paying it forward. Everyone have a Merry Christmas. We'll talk to you in the next year. Later, peace.